Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this tutorial I will explain how to properly install and run Flux1 text-to-image model in Comfy UI and Windows. Flux1 is arguably one of the most powerful text-to-image models that you can run on a local machine. In particular, in this tutorial I will explain how to install and run Flux1 Schnell version, however, everything explained in this tutorial can be used in the case of Flux1 dev models. But before I start with explanations, I need to mention the following. First of all, we will run Flux1 Schnell and Comfy UI locally, that is, we will install them and run them locally on our computers. Secondly, the main advantage of running Flux1 models as well as other models in Comfy UI is that you don't need to know how to code. You can simply implement a model and generate nice results by using block diagrams shown over here. You can simply implement a model and generate nice results literally by adding few blocks over here and even a child can do that after maybe one hour of training. However, I also created tutorials on how to install and run Flux1 models in Python and Windows as well as in Linux. These tutorials are for more advanced users and their links are given in the description below this video. Now, here is a brief demonstration of how easy it is to generate images by using Comfy UI and by using Schnell version of Flux. Over here in this block, or better to say in this text prompt, you need to enter a text description of your desired image. And in my case, I wrote this. An ancient Greek warrior is standing with a shield and a sword. Next to the Greek warrior there is a horse. In the background there is an ancient castle from the old Greek times and there is a mountain and sea. Now, to run this model you will simply need to click here and then over here you will see what happens. I'm running this model on NVIDIA 3090 GPU with 24 gigabytes of VRAM and I have around 48 gigabyte of RAM memory and this is real time. So let's see. First step, prompt executed in 20.41 seconds and let's see. And here is a new image. Here it is. Looks perfect. We see a Greek warrior, we see a horse and in the background we see an ancient ca castle probably from the Greek times and we can see C. This is probably somewhere in Greece. Here is the installation procedure. First of all, we need to install Comfy UI. Then we need to download all the Flux1 Schnell files. That is, we will need to download Save Tensor file, VAE files, etc. And then we need to copy all these downloaded files to the appropriate Comfy UI folders. Then we need to set up the Comfy UI workflow and finally we need to run the model. I'm running the model on a two-year-old desktop computer with an Intel multi-core processor and with 48GB RAM. The GPU is NVIDIA 3090 with 24GB VRAM. Note that it's advised to have at least 32GB RAM. However, you can also run the model with lower precision on computers with less RAM. I did not test the installation on GPUs that are less powerful than NVIDIA 3090 and that have less VRAM. It should be useful for other viewers to write your experiences of running Flux1 Schnell and Comfy UI on your computer. You can simply describe your configuration. You can leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, I will provide a link in the description below this video to all the models I'm using in this video. That is, you can watch this video tutorial and at the same time when I go to a certain website, you can simply click on the link provided in the description below and you can go to that website and you can also download the models I'm downloading. Okay, let's start with installation of Comfy UI. Open your favorite search engine, in my case it's Google, and search for Comfy UI. And then at the top you will see the official GitHub page. Click over here, then scroll all the way down and you will see the installation instructions. Before you actually even 
install Comfy UI, you need to install 7-Zip. So click over here to go to the 7-Zip website or you can directly go to this website. And then over here you simply need to download 7-Zip, click here and wait until it's downloaded, then go to the download folder and install 7-Zip. And over here I will install 7-Zip and click on close. You will need 7-Zip to actually unpack Comfy UI installation. Okay, the next step is to actually download the Comfy UI file. For that purpose, you need to go to this releases page. So click here, or you can do the right click and open a new window. And over here, you need to find the recent distribution. Here it is. So click here and the download process will start. Over here, you can also see the folder link or actually the link of this releases web page and I will provide these links in the description below. Okay, and here you need to wait since the file is around 1.5 gigabyte. This will take around one minute on my computer. After that, go to the downloads folder or wherever this file is downloaded, then do the right click and unpack. To unpack, you will find this 7-zip option and you can click here on extract here and you can see everything will be extracted. Now you will see the file over here or actually the folder over here. Now I notice one thing. If you're actually using an antivirus, this process might be very slow. And if you see that this process is super slow, then a good idea would be to disable your antivirus. I notice if you're using Avast or Avast antivirus software, then you will need to temporarily disable it. Otherwise, this whole unpacking process will take forever because the antivirus will check every Python file and inspect it for viruses. Okay, so here it is. Here is our folder with Comfy UI. So let's go back to downloads. Let's copy this folder and now I'm going to go to C. In C folder, I created a codes file and I'm simply going to paste it over here. Now this will take some time and here it is. This is our Comfy UI folder. The next step is to download these two files. First of all, we will need to download this file and then we will need to download this file and then we will need to copy them to the correct folders of our Comfy UI. So let's do that. To download these files, we need to go to this website and I'm going to provide a link to this website in the description below or you can even type it if you're not lazy. So let's click over here and let's go to the website and we need to download two files. First of all, we need to download this file. So I will click here and the download process will start. And we need to download this file, FP16. This means float 16 version. Now, if you have a machine that has less than 32 gigabyte of RAM, then they advise to download instead this file instead of this file. However, since I have a relatively decent machine with 40 8 gigabyte of RAM, I'm going to download this file. So click here to download this file. And here you need to be patient since this will take probably even 5 to 10 minutes. You can see that the file is around 9 gigabyte. After the download process is completed, we need to copy both of these two files to the appropriate Comfy UI folder. So let's select these two files and press Ctrl C and we need to copy them to the appropriate folder. The name of the folder is clip and this clip is inside of the model folders and the base folder is Comfy UI. So let's find these folders. So I will go to my C, my codes, my Comfy UI. So I'll click here, then I need to go to models and I need to go to clip and I need to copy them here. So here they are, good. Next, we need to download VAE file. That is, we need to download this file, this save tensors file, and we need to copy it to the appropriate folder. That is, to this VAE folder. To download this file, we need to go to this Hugging Face repository. So I will click here, and I will go to the Hugging Face, and we need to download this file. 
The name of the file is AE Safe Tensors. To download this file, simply click here and wait. This will take maybe 10 seconds since the file is relatively small. Next, we need to copy this file to this VAE folder. Okay, so let's wait until the download process is completed. We can see that it's completed. Let's go to the downloads folder and here's our file and we need to copy this file and to place it in codes, confi UI and models and we need to find this VAE folder and simply paste file. Here it is. Perfect. Let's continue. Next, we need to download Flux Schnell model weights and we need to copy the weights to the appropriate folder. For that purpose, we again need to go to the Hugging Face website and to the official Flux One Schnell web page. So let's go here and let's paste this link and we need to download this file. You can also find this file by going to the official Flux One Schnell website or Hugging Face websites, clicking on files, and over here you need to find this file. This file is around 24 gigabytes and we need to download it. So there are two ways to download it. You can simply click here or you can click here and you can download. And now the download process will start. Know that this will take maybe 10 or 15 minutes, so you need to be patient. This file should be copied to this UNET folder. So let's wait until the download process is completed. In my case, it's already completed. So let's go to the downloads folder and here's the file. Then let's copy this file and let's place it in the appropriate folder. Let's go to codes here, here, models. Where is the models? Here it is. And let's verify the folder. It should be UNET folder. So let's find UNET and let's simply place the file over here. That's it. Simple as that. And we just completed the download process. We downloaded around, I think, four or five files. Good. Next, let's start Comfy UI. To start Comfy UI, you need to go to the base folder of Comfy UI that is this folder and you need to run the script. In my case, I will run this script, run NVIDIA GPU. This is because I have a GPU card and I want to use it. If you don't have GPU, you can run CPU. However, I didn't test CPU version. So I will click over here and magic will happen. See what happens now. A terminal is opened and let's see what will happen next. Now here you need to be patient. This will take some time since this is the first time we are actually starting Comfy UI. So be patient. And here it is. Good. My GPU is detected and let's see what will happen. Okay, here it is. And over here you can see that something is being automatically loaded. This is because there is some cache in my system since I uninstall Comfy UI. However, in your case, you will see an empty workflow and maybe you will see a few block diagrams. Okay, the next step will be to configure Comfy UI such that we can run this Schnell model. So how to do that? Well, we actually need to go to this web page and you will see one magic way of configuring configuring everything. So go to this official web page of Comfy UI that contains instructions on how to run Comfy UI in Flux. Now, you need to find the correct Flux version. So here it is. It's Flux Schnell. And let's see what I will do now. Now, minimize this window. Open the web browser where your where Comfy UI is running. Let me just do this. And look what I will do now. This image over here in this Flux Schnell is very important. And you simply click on this image, hold the left mouse key, and simply drag and drop here. And bang! Everything will be configured such that you can run Schnell in Comfy UI. This is amazing. You can see that automatically UNET weights are recognized, weights are recognized, other things for clipping are recognized, and everything looks perfect. 
And over here you see the standard text, a bottle with a beautiful rainbow galaxy inside of it on top of a wooden table. And now over here the image will be generated. Okay, how to run this model? This is the first test case. And to run this test case, we just need to click here. So let's click here and let's see what will happen. Now, if you go back to this terminal, you need to be patient. Something is happening. Over here, I have my task manager and I can see performance. You can see how my GPU is being used and populated. This means that the model is running. And the first time you're running the model, it will, it will take some time for model to be uploaded in the system. And here it is. It's loading one new model. Okay, perfect. You can see the memory consumption. By the way, you can open task manager by simply clicking here and searching for task manager. And you can click then on performance and you can see your CPU consumption and you can see other things. Over here, you can simply ignore this message clip missing since it really doesn't matter. Okay, so let's continue. Let's continue and let's be patient. Loaded par partially, you can see here the installation and computation and loading one new model and prompt executed in 64 seconds. Now, the first time you execute your first text prompt, it's going to take 64 seconds or something like that. However, next time you try to execute it, it might take maybe 15 or 10 seconds, depending on how fast is your system. And here it is. This is the default image. This means that Confi UI is working properly and that Flux One Schnell is also working properly. Good. Now let's change this prompt. Over here I like history and I will write something from history. I will write a Roman soldier is holding a sword and a shield. There is a horse next to him next to the let's put it like next to the roman soldier in the background there is a mountain with snow top and sea far away also there is a castle in the background okay so let's run this by clicking here once and let's see what's happening over here here you need to wait let's look into the task manager you can see that memory again is being populated and here it is okay now the model is loading and let's see how long it takes and we will see prompt executed literally in 20 seconds. So let's go here and let's see our response. Okay, looks so nice. This is beautiful. I'm not sure that actually this is the best image quality. You can actually change a lot of things over here. You have this prompt over here and you can change steps and other things and you can optimize. However, this image looks still very nice okay now how to save this image well you can save this image by doing the right click and then you'll see this option to save the image and save the image and the same the image will be actually saved in the downloads folder as you can see over here or you can simply go to the downloads folder and you will see the image if you will be able to open it and include it somewhere else good next you can also save your model settings by going to Confi UI and over here you can click on save and you will save it as a workflow file.json so I will call it setup1.json and next time you can actually load this file and this file is saved in the downloads folder that is it's over here as you can see it clearly okay that's all for today i hope that you like this video if you like the videos i'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons thanks a lot and have a nice day